Welcome to Julie the Thrifty Designer. I'm showing you the next in my videos of my steampunk doctor's office apothecary almost mad scientist. This is my dining room. And these are the fun things that I have on the table. That pot came from the thrift store, and the bottles came from the thrift store. Books I've had around the house, but if you don't have any old ones, you can find them from the thrift store. And then I found this stand and this really cool glass bottle at the thrift store. And I just put a candle in it. I could light it and let it boil bowl away if I want to, I guess. And and then the pumpkin head guys are from the Dollar Tree. They were on wire picks, and I just found some stands that actually candles come in. And I used them for little stands for them. I think it really came out cute. And then again, this little bottle set here came from the thrift store. And then Dollar Tree little skulls in a bag of them. So I put them on top of there, kind of like the lids. And I have some wire that I just coiled to make it mad scientist looking. And the dollar store skulls by my candelabras I already have. And these are actually very, very old. I'm not quite sure where they came from, but they are authentic scientific lab stuff that they would use. And had that from last year. Can't remember where I bought it. I said I think in a previous video, but I don't remember now. But bottles and jars to make a very creepy, but not meant to be scary. Focus camera, focus. There we go. So it's just my fun dining room set. And then I have the back of my sofa. Again. I got him clearanced. I think it was Walmart last year. You actually put gumballs on the top of his head. And when you do that, he throws the gumball out in his tongue. <laughs> and so, here's a real old shoehorn. And a pocket watch. It's not steampunk without a pocket watch. And then I made these eyeballs. <laughs> They're ping pong balls from the Dollar Tree. Well, actually, it's not the ping pong balls. They're the eyeballs, and they're creepy stuff. And I just put veins in it and then colored water, make it look like they're bloody into the formaldehyde. Let them be suspended in hair gel and food coloring. And then just bottles and the stands that was on the table. I had those little Dollar Tree uh, ha um, pumpkin heads on was actually the stands that go with these candles from the Dollar Tree. And then a Dollar Tree little pumpkin. And then an old antique radio that was my father's. Well, steampunk was in the invention of weird stuff. You know, steampunk is supposed to be the old meat kind of futuristic looking stuff where they build stuff. Well, I'm not truly steampunk, so I don't have a lot of real steampunk looking stuff, but I did the best that I could. So here's an old set of, uh, it's actually binoculars, and I do believe they were my father's, but it's in an old ca case that makes it look that way. And that's just actually a candle, but it looks really gross. It's been burned, and it just looks nasty, and, and these are... Um, magnifying glass, scissors, and more bottles, and Dollar Tree skulls, and, and this bottle here, um, it's got water and dish soap and this stuff to make it murky, and I even has some floating stuff that went to the bottom, and glitter, and Stuff that when well shaken up, it does have a much different look to it, which is cool. And then 
an older friend of mine. She gave that to me. It's just like a little photo album, but it has an old-fashioned feel to it, which is really quite neat. I wonder why my camera lately has been blurring on me when I move it. It didn't used to. That's strange. Anyway, again, more bottles. And it says vinegar. That's actually homemade vinegar. It tastes delicious. But I'm using it here. Bottles and Dollar Tree ears and eyeballs and just murky water and food coloring and even just salt and pepper shakers, but they're interesting shape bottles. And then this is really actually, it's an old wire recorder. It is from at least the 1920s. It's very old. So it really works for this. And it's weird, but they would record on wire, not on tape as we know it. And so then I have Mr. Bones here. He's got his steampunk hat on with glasses and uh, a bow tie, but he's he's been prodded with the electrical as experiments from that machine over there. <laughs> uh, just learning how to be a doctor, or how to help people. Can't help it if people die in the process, right? And then on my buffet. A lot of these are bottles I found from the thrift store, and I know they were all alcohol bottles, but they're really cool shaped. And uh, so the camera makes it look purple, but it's really very blood looking. That makes it look more like blood, you know? Interesting. You get the lights just right, and now it looks purple. <laughs> but it's supposed to be a vial of blood and a vial of urine for samples. And, and then I have Petri dishes here. Isn't that fun? Isn't that just gross looking? It's blobs of hair gel and um, food coloring and the fleshy looking type of thing, believe it or not. <laughs> it's kind of almost embarrassing to me, I guess. But it's uh, in the women's department. They have what's called nipple covers. They're just to stop you from showing how cold you are when you're wearing backless outfits that don't you can't really wear a bra with and so it hides that and so I had an old one and I just cut them up into like flesh and stuck it in with it it's just really gross looking but it's really cool on the other hand what it can make it look like and then more Dollar Tree skulls and and this old guy my mother-in-law gave me several years ago he's missing I think a hand yeah he's missing his hand and he's missing a foot but that's okay he's really quite cool and we got some bats and blackbirds and old books to give the ambiance and more skeleton and just bottles more bottles and water and just fun things like this you know just it's quite interesting what you can make your dining room look like. Blurring on me again. But just fun things. And a seriously old pair of scissors. And then in the window, I decided not to really put water or anything in the jars in the window because if the sun shines through it it could act like a magnifying glass and catch something on fire so i i there are just empty glass jars but the piece de vrie is in tots here is old x-rays real x-rays aren't they amazing my husband hasn't gotten around to helping us figure out how to build an actual light box. So right now I just have them taped in the window until we can actually build a box that we can make them show up for. But I wanted to show you that you can really create a really cool look. And x-rays were developed in the late 1800s. And so they're fitting 
for, um, whoops, I'm knocking stuff over. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'll pick them up in a little bit. At least it's nothing breakable. <laughs> I was trying to slip by the chair and I didn't have enough room. <sighs> so on my little tree here, I just have skeletons and skeletons. And bats and a few of the little blackbirds. And just a candle holder. And a pumpkin. And then authentic family pictures. My mother's parents and my father's parents. And it just creates quite a interesting feel when you're trying to develop at least a little bit of the steampunk. And the pictures over there is my husband's grandparents, maternal and paternal. But something I didn't show you that I want to show you is right here. That and that. Those are authentic button hooks for buttoning up your shoes from Victorian days. They are amazing. Family heirlooms, I guess. We've had them for many years, but they so work. I wish I could do some more invention type of things like they would have done for the steampunk. But at least it's the apothecary and doctor's office. And I have this little guy hanging from... It's one of those things you can pick up stuff and weigh how heavy they are. But this is my dining room for this year. I hope you enjoy it. I will show you the formal living room on another video. Again, just empty bottles of different types. You can get them all over at the thrift stores. They have tons of them, ranging from 99 cents basically up to 4 or $5, depending on what you get. I'm trying to play a little steampunk style Halloween music. That's what's playing in the background. Well, I want to wish everyone a happy Halloween. Hopefully I've given you some ideas. I mean, it really is. It's just colored water in glass jars. And just interesting ones. And Dollar Tree adds up after time when you have to buy so many, but it's really still relatively inexpensive. <laughs> Thrift store scales even. And just old authentic tins and various things that would be of age of the time. Victorian era for steampunk is oh, like the 1880s through the 1910 approximately. And they just like to look Victorian, but then they add modern, well, sort of modern touches. The new industrial revolutionary stuff right there building steam machines and you have gears and gizmos and things like that so this is fun this is all this is intended to be something very interesting and fun
Well, everybody, I hope you get inspired and have a great time with the look. It's just interesting, something to always look at, keep your mind wondering what's going on. So, happy, happy, happy Halloween. Hopefully I get it out soon enough, you can be inspired. So y'all take care, and God bless.